What I want to do today is connect our Slack apps to Dolly 2 so that whenever we post a message on our Slack channel, an image will automatically be generated. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you could try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Slack to trigger an image creation in Dolly, I'll need to use Slack as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Private Message Posted to Channel as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Slack sees a private message is sent, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Slack, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Slack account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. We'll then need to fill out our trigger apps data. To do that, select the channel you'd like to use for your zap and click continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click test trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click continue and we can start creating our first action. Type in Dolly into the search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click generate image and click continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate Dolly with Zapier, just like I did with my Slack account. To do this, go to your OpenAI page, click the top right button of your screen, and then select View API Keys on the dropdown. Click Create New Secret Key, and then copy and paste it onto your authorization screen. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Once you've logged in, click Continue. Under Prompt, select text under the drop-down menu and click Continue. Click Test Action, and we can move on to our second action step. Click the plus button on the bottom of the screen to get started. Dolly uses our images, but we'll need a place to send our zaps in order to view them. Let's use Slack. Type in Slack into the search bar once more and then select Send Channel Message, then click Continue. Log into your account again, Click Continue again. From there, we could start to assign our trigger apps data into the Action Apps fields. Under Channel, select the channel you'd like to use for your zap. Next, under the message text, I'll type in a custom message. I'll type, check out this post that was created using Dolly. Under Bot Name, I'll type Dolly Bot, and then under Attach Image by URL, I'll click Image URL, and then I'll click Continue. Click Test Action, and I should be all set. Yep. There it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime we post a message on our Slack account, an image will automatically be created with Dolly. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier could do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.